Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to detect the tap gesture. So there are four tap gestures, on tap down, on tap up, on tap and on tap cancel. Pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how to implement the on tap as an extra task. I want you to implement the other by yourself. So you essentially wrap a regular widget, like an image, for example. It could be a button, it could be a text, you know, widget, whatever it is with a tap gesture and whatever gesture you've applied and whatever code you've applied, whatever you're doing with it, that will get triggered when that gesture is triggered. So we need to put child gesture, so gesture detector, open close brackets, and in there, we need to put this child, because this is gonna be a child of it, the images, and therefore we'll be able to detect the gestures. So we can do on tap, and with on tap, we just need to put open close brackets. And what we need to do now is well put our code. So if I'm just going to do a print, you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to say tapped. So if I save that, go back to my simulator. If I click it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. It has now registered all of those taps. And that's it. That's all there is for the tap gesture. Again, there is on tap down, on tap up, on tap and on tap cancel. I want you to look at implementing on tap down, on tap up and on tap cancel. I'll provide a link so you can get some more information about that. Stay tuned and look forward to the next set of gesture videos. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.